More details are coming out regarding the backstage chaos following Sunday's AEW All Out pay-per-view. As of this editing, we are still less than 48 hours removed from what's developing into one of the biggest stories of 2022. A physical altercation occurred in CM Punk's dressing room after his explosive comments at the All Out post-show media scrum. CM Punk trashed Colt Cabana, Hangman Page and AEW executive vice presidents and stated once again, come find me, if you have a problem with him. Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks took him up on the offer as soon as Punk wrapped up his rant at the media scrum. Details are still unclear about who escalated things to the point of violence, but punches in a chair were thrown, hair was pulled, and Kenny Omega got bit. Here's the on the fallout from the backstage melee that occurred after AEW All Out 2022. Tony Khan has suspended several AEW employees who were in the room for the CM Punk, Elite Brawl, according to Brian Last's The Wrestling News Podcast. Fightful Select reports that several members of the AEW roster expect CM Punk to be released after the way things went down. Several people who would typically side with conspicuously not defending him. Whether the first punch was thrown by CM Punk or a member of the Elite, there is a feeling that the EVPs should be setting an example and may even lose their titles as a disciplinary measure. CM Punk and Kenny Omega had a conversation after things calmed down. However, the talk is not believed to have been productive. This is a developing story and we'll provide additional updates as new information becomes available. A former AEW star is calling out CM Punk for a shoot fight. During a recent interview with the Undisputed podcast, former AEW star Bobby Fish called for a competitive fight against CM Punk. Fish isn't very concerned with what the rules are, as he's willing to fight Punk in boxing, kickboxing, or mixed martial arts. Let's just make this a formal invitation to Phil. Yeah, I'm down. If that's the way he wants to go and I mean, he could pick the time, the place, we can do it in Chicago. Yeah, that would be kind of fun, right? It can be boxing, it could be kickboxing, it can be MMA. I mean shit, we can do this bare knuckle. Whatever sounds good to Phil. He can pick the weight, he can pick the place like I said. I mean whatever he wants to do but yeah, let's make it official. Like come on Phil. The topic of Punk getting into a physical altercation with the Young Bucks was brought up. Fish noted that, although the dirt sheets claim Punk was throwing haymakers, he doubts Punk was throwing any kicks, calling Punk's kicks atrocious. Oh, they are atrocious. Well, you said what you heard on the sheets was that he came out throwing haymakers. He didn't come out throwing kicks, because he ain't hitting anybody with those. Fish claims that during his time in AEW he actually tried to get AEW president Tony Khan to give him permission to do a fight several times. Of course, he had no success on that front. Now, he's hoping he can land a fight with Punk, who, for the time being, is under contract with AEW. So truth be told, since May, I have tried to get Tony Khan to sit down with me no less than five times to ask permission to do a kickboxing fight. It was actually something that I talked to other people in the company about but I could never nail Tony down and in Tony's defense, he's a busy man, especially on TV days, it is what it is but I wanted permission to do a fight and I couldn't get there with Tony so now, it's no secret, I don't need anyone's permission at this point so yeah, let's make this shit official Phil, I'll do you one better. Phil, let's fucking go. I think that's how someone else would say it. Oh, let me up with a bright smile on now Put me in the dark, so won't get lost now To the moonlight, I see